Hey, it's a sketch comedy podcast show. Enter the Duda. Oh my gosh, this temple is crazy. I, look at all the guitars on the wall. Yeah, it's almost like I'm a musician or something. Weird, huh? Yeah, yeah. Are they? Are those sound panels in the shape of a, a Buddha up there? Does the Buddha have a shape? Oh, you're already starting to blow my mind, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to learn more. Can you explain Dudaism to me? Uh, my own special blend, of course, is uh, unique and rare and uh, completely customized. Technically, it only matters to me. Can we meditate together? Would that be something we could do? We can always meditate together. How do we do this? Don't be a raging douchebag. Okay. Follow that train of thought the whole way through and achieve Dudaism. Okay, don't be a douchebag. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a cardinal sin to a dudist. Okay. Because right. this aggression will not stand, man. Understood. Is there any other rules that we should be following? Yes. The dude always abides. Any other rules that we should know about? So I would recommend having a heart metaphorically in every situation because you do. All right. Well, I will abide. Okay. Well, I feel like I've got, I've got a lot of feelings and I'd like to kind of address them as we're meditating here. Is that, is that something oh, we can do? That would probably be the best way to do it while you're meditating. Okay. All right. So how do we start? Do we have to make any noise? Do we do an om or what, are, what do we do? Hey, silence is golden too. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of nothing, and I'm gonna say the first feeling that I've got. All right. Mm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling hungry. What should I do about that? Well, there's a famous Zen parable, kind of starry-eyed wannabe comes up to a Zen master and he tells him about this amazing miracle worker who can stand on one edge of a canyon and someone across the canyon will hold up a piece of paper and he can paint a picture on it from across the canyon without even touching it. The Zen master responds to him and he says, my miracle is when I'm hungry, I eat. That sounds like sound advice. All right, let me, let me see if I can process any more feelings. All right. All right. Oh, oh man, this is so weird. I'm feeling horny. Interesting. I don't know why. You're a good looking dude, but I don't know why. I don't. <laughs> love is love and to each their own and all that jazz. I personally love making love with the right people and under the right circumstances. Not to rain on your parade. I, I happen to be straight myself. Being more horny than you are soulful. Your heart and soul are probably the best to put in control of your pole. All right, well, I feel like I've got more feelings I'd like to release. Mm, let me just feel what I'm feeling. I feel like I got a poop. Interesting. Dudism respects all religions, and the first thing that comes to mind is uh, all these monotheistic religions claim that man was made in God's image, then I would just let you know that God poops, my friend. God poops, everybody.